quick shout out to our main sponsor, Manscaped.com. You know the crack. They know the crack. They know the sack. They know the back. These guys, they're all over it. It's the world's leading product when it comes to uh, declogging your nut bag. Do you have a Manscaped? No. We'll hook you up. Um, Please don't. You want to go <laughs> You want to go into two, 2023 with a shorn scrote. And uh, that's, that's what we're into around here. And if you listen to this podcast, you get 20% off if you go to manscaped.com forward slash jambomb1 and here's what I recommend Connor they have, a, they have a care package you know don't go mm-hmm. on there and buy one product buy the care package to, to make use of it does somebody else do it for you is no, the, no, is no, the care no, pa- no that would be a care package that is a care package yeah that's <laughs> that's a pro elite level on my Patreon <laughs> some uh, boy called Peter turns around and goes ah, bend over there or something uh, exactly but <laughs> what it is Connor it's, it's a little leather papoose and uh, a papoose they send uh-huh. you like a beautiful uh, wash bag it's great quality right. pair of boxers in it ball toner all deodorant, all sorts of creams and potions, maybe to keep the keep your undercarriage in pristine condition. But then when you, I put, could take the creams and the deodorants now. Yeah. But I'm a very, I'm a I'm a nineties bush kind of man. You know what I mean? As in, it came about in the nineties and hasn't been touched since. Okay. All right. Well, times have moved on. I've seen that. When, right. when, it, when, when it comes to this sponsorship, mm-hmm. times have moved on. <laughs> For the purpose of the drill, you got two cream eggs down there. <laughs> Manscaped.com <laughs> forward slash Gen Band one get twenty percent off. And yeah, you know, you shave twenty percent of your pubes off, you get twenty percent added on to the length. <laughs> and that's not their tagline, that's mine. That's pure mathematics there, boy. It is. <laughs> Cheers, Manscaped. Treat yourself, treat your dad. The General Banter Podcast with Colin Jettis. My guest today, Connor Case. Yes. The gr- the big return. We did a shut up. We did a twelve pods of Christmas. Yes, but um, that was for the the elite exclusive people. That's for the Patreon. That's the Patreons. Um, the, the, there was clips come out, sure, but you know we'll give we'll, we'll give the people what they want. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Sixty minutes of conspiracy <laughs> talk. It's gonna. You, I've never I've never seen anybody more paranoid after a podcast. You're like, sorry, that was wild born. Oh, no, that was. <laughs> <laughs> that was boring. It was great. That's what people want. I nearly fell asleep myself. They want to go in. They want to go in. That's well. I said that. Well, what do you see? The problem is sometimes uh, an hour is not enough. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It needs to be a fucking series, <laughs> trilogy. But is it what, do, like? Do do you want to go on someone else's podcast and sort of let your hair down, chill out a bit? Yeah, that's why yeah. I'm back today. Where the golden rule is no conspiracy theories. Like I, I said to you before, <laughs> Gordo from those conspiracy guys was like, you know, once I'm done with you know, plowing through. You know, ten hours of research about a murder that happened. He goes, "I like to put on something silly like yours." And I, and I was basically, like, I was basically, like, I put on some shit that fucking means nothing. You go wade through it. Are you trying to tell me you haven't done like ten hours of research for this podcast today? Not ten, no. <laughs> Maybe not ten. I had a burrito with you ten <laughs> seconds ago, which I'm convinced is still jammed in my fucking Invisalign's here. <laughs> I was on the Lisburn Road this morning. Cunts. Aye. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny, like it's funny when you get into like a well, a sort of quote unquote well off area. You just t- you just look around at people and you're like, I don't know if I would even. How do you get this? Yeah, I don't know if I would like to live beside you people. Is it the is, like what's the best way to be successful? In life? Is it to come from nothing and get some money and then be one of these like regular guys with money? Yeah, I think that's the best. You want to be like yeah, you know, second, third, fourth generation loaded. Yeah, where, where you park a Range Rover sideways on a fucking main road. I know that's. I d- you definitely do see the difference of the people who came from nothing and the people who had something. Might yeah. not be, might not have been loads, but the, yeah. you know, and then got a big difference between the two. Uh, the gym and coffee crew, as you said. The gym and coffee crew. <laughs> who yeah. don't even have fucking coffee? I know, raging. That used to be material of mine. You know, <laughs> like you know, the people that wear the best sports gear are the fattest, useless cunts you get, you get, you know? Like, people will be head to toe in, like, fucking Gymshark, but all they're doing is, you know, going to get a pastry out of somewhere. <laughs> a guy parked beside me in Marks and... I parked illegally in Marks and Spencer's, didn't even go in, fuck him. But uh, a guy parked beside me in a Tesla, and I was like, surely with the amount of sensors going mm-hmm. on in this car, you wouldn't be, like, fucking two centimeters no, away from no. my car? No. I, I, I genuinely was like, how did you get out? Tesla drivers are the new Audi drivers, aren't they? Like they're just. What do you think of that? You know, when you see videos of people like fuck it, like the car will go past and the fella's like, I cars really, doing like eighty mile an hour, and fucking. 
I don't know. Does, does, I, I just know I would just be either accelerating hard or breaking hard because yeah. I don't want to be anywhere in the vicinity of that fucker when <laughs> things go wrong. <laughs> yeah, yours would be like you'd fly past the Tesla just like that. <laughs> <laughs> that is a fucking ever thought about that actually. <laughs> Take the wheel, fucking Elon, and you roll up joints in the fucking front of the car. Mighty of oh, CBD, mind you. <laughs> You, you can get those now, can't you? CBD joints. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, Let's point that. Mm. No. <laughs> not, like, no. Mm. Not for me. It's like zero Guinness. Nah. Are you exclusively weed, or would you be like, you know, I'll I'll dip the toe in the mushrooms or something every once in a while? No, just weed, yeah. Just weed? Yeah. I'd always have been that. Uh, I have tried other, like, uh, stuff, but, like, once. You know, there's never been a, a multiple times. Like, it's know. mad that the tables are turning on medicinal use of stuff yeah, like that well that's it uh, yeah, you, you now you get prescribed now in the UK so that'd be great wouldn't it it, it will be yeah you go in the doctors and he's sitting with a wee thing and he's like I think the only thing for you is going to be a uh, fucking half ounce a, lo- a lock of yolks a half ounce of kush <laughs> if you want to go <laughs> I would like to, I'm amazed I've got to this age and I've never had mushrooms yeah I did it once in Amsterdam and it was a very 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 wrong uh, bad decision mm-hmm. wrong thing to do wrong place to try it for the first time well, it is a, you know, if you arrive in that red light district and you get off the train mm. and you're walking about stone cold sober, it's a, you know, it's, it's a hectic fa- enough, yeah. It's a fairly scary, you know, wee tiny alleyways full of mm-hmm. people, fucking tits on one side, mm-hmm. you know, some guy on the other side being like, cocaine, you know, cocaine, cocaine. cocaine. Uh, yeah, and I say this to people too, I mean, if you're going, if, you, if you're, if <clears> you <throat> I've met loads of people who are going to Amsterdam to have their first smoke, mm. I'm like, oh, that is the worst place. Yeah. There's bikes coming at you from fucking all over the place. You don't know which road is a road. You don't know. And the bikes, the bikes are royalty. They, you know, oh, they, 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 take, take, they priority. take priority over cars and everything. Uh, yeah. And pedestrians, and yeah. they'll oh, take yeah. you with you. If you and you'll be landing the if fucking front faint, of a basket. If you, if you, you faint in a bike lane, you get fined. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what is this bullshit? <laughs> like, uh, yeah. So I've, I've, and I've seen actually firsthand a few people like that who came along with me, even though I've, I've warned them not to come with me. Who are waiting uh, uh, on the tram line or a tram line? Tram line. A tram line, and I'm like, get off that fucking tram line! <laughs> yeah. I can't move. <laughs> I think you will fucking move, and you're going to be plastered to the window of it. Exactly. I seen two boys in Amsterdam, like ho- both of them holding on to this handrail, killing themselves, laughing, and I was like, <laughs> that looks fun. Yeah. But then they also look like if they stumbled near this canal, they'd be dead. They'd be dead. Yeah, yeah. Wonder what the numbers are like on that. It must be brutal because the amount of stag weekends and stuff that go over, like, and you know, and as well as that, too, especially if you're coming from here, you're gonna end up with a load of guys who don't smoke, yeah, they just want to drink, yeah. And I'm like, go to fucking Bandorn, yeah, like, what are you going to Amsterdam for a sash of drink? Well, it's you, you know, know, Heineken's there, and that's ahead of it, hookers, and that's it, you'd want yeah. hookers and small beers, yeah, but we don't do small beers, exactly. That's and a that is the problem. That, the time I was in, I was just in the Netherlands, and I was like, "These wee fucking stupid beers and all." But what you do is you don't take them seriously, and then you have like <laughs> fucking seventy three of them. <laughs> you know, you're like, "I can drink these all day," and then the next minute you're like fucking throwing up in it. Uh-huh. You want to beat the wife? Come on over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about that. <laughs> or you let her beat you, whatever, whatever it is you're into. Whatever you're into. <laughs> Any other crack? What have you been up to these days? Ah, uh, not much, man. Just fucking. What was usual? that? What was that term you mentioned before we started talking? There's a meeting going on somewhere. And you used oh, to... the fucking. Oh, no, 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 no. We are no, again. We're not... skimming into. I see you trying to fucking. <laughs> I tried to pull you in with a weed. <laughs> I seen that. Uh, yeah, the Davos World Economic Forum. We're meeting at the moment to decide. Um, is that Schwab? Is it? Oh, Schwab. Klaus Schwab. The man. Uh, Doctor Evil. Yeah, they're all deciding when we're going to start eating insects, and it looks like it's going to be pretty soon. Yeah, yeah. They're telling us they're, what did they what way did they word it yesterday? Um, protein from alternative sources. Oh, uh, that will be lovely. Apparently, so like a chat up line I'd hit more in with insects. Here we come. And protein from alternative sources. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, girly. <laughs> you want some of my honey? <laughs> <laughs> protein from alternative sources. Yeah, the fake meat or uh, insects. Insects. Yeah, really? insects is a big thing. Yeah. Like we talked about this last, like one of the last times on. Like they are, they are pushing towards us, uh, pushing us towards that. Um, what was I mean, that? What it's was big that in called? China, obviously. The, the insects is a big source of food. And, uh, they eat a lot of that. What was and dogs? But what, what was the quote? Um, <laughs> where's you, Lin? China? What was? Uh, there was a quote. Your man Schwab had a quote recently where he was like, you know, everyone's scared about global warming and this and that, and he's like, what'll fucking kill us all is like a network blackout. 
you know, like, well, that was the next thing I was going to say. The, so when the internet goes away, yeah, I'd be so, fucked. Well, this is what the thing. We couldn't have that burrito. No, we would have been sitting. Uh, there'd have been no Nicoletta. Nicoletta, <laughs> the, who I thought was going to be a hot chick, and it was just a fucking hairy dude. <laughs> the who yeah, could, that who, was the next thing I was going to say. To you was that's what they're talking about, and you know what they're going to plan to do by what they're talking about, and what they're talking about at that moment is the cyber attacks that's going to cause massive shutdowns. Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, okay, you're telling us what's going to happen, so. Uh, download all your favourite family photographs and stuff like that and put yeah. them on a hard drive and maybe a wee stash of porn just in case. Just, just in for case. the bunker. No one thinks about that when you no. know when the apocalypse, you know, when comes. apocalypse comes. There's no porn because I, you, you know it's gonna happen. Like fucking I, 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 some con they'll be like, you know, we've we put up an electric fence uh, that runs off a generator and we've got this bunker and we've got all this dried food and canned food and I'm just sitting there with three hard drives. <laughs> I was like, fuck, I never thought about the beans now. I thought about, blow- I thought about blowing beans. <laughs> I thought about flicking them, but never thought about eating them. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's uh, what's going to happen. We're gonna be, that'll be me. You'll, but you'll be the fucking king. How many boys will be coming to you with tons of beans going here? Can I get a wee look? Oh, exactly. <laughs> It'll be like the movie Waterworld. Where he's, like, he's got paper, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'll be like, let us uh, <laughs> stare over a guy's shoulder in his bunker. I guess two bags of fucking... What have we got there? Penne pasta? <laughs> Two bags of penne. And you can have 10 minutes in this hard drive. <laughs> People will be going back to the old mind wanks. You know? Oh, I. Fucking through the archive. No, you couldn't do it. Sure, you'd be. Does it not excite you a wee bit? What, insects? No. No, just just think the. Th- you know, there's something quite exciting about a, an apocalypse scenario. It's quite exciting, I would say, for anybody living here because. Mm. We're, we're going to be okay. We'll be fine. We're surrounded by boys who know how to grow stuff. Yeah. Um, so we'll be okay. But it's, uh, I would say, <laughs> some of the other countries mightn't do so well. I know. Um, but no, I, 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 like, I mean, imagine if what they're talking about is true, an internet blackout. Because not, not only does it mean no porn, but it means no access to your money, no yeah. access to a cash machine. You know, it's going to be fucking civil war. <laughs> information. <laughs> shit, general like, information. Yeah. But the fact that they start, say, you know, if they are openly saying it now, it means that's just them planting the seed for this is what we need to do. Aye, because, you know, you, it's like any time there's something happens, they're like, oh, do you know, like two months before this, they had a conversation about <laughs> yeah. what they would do if there if there was a big terrorist attack and then a month later <laughs> it happened. happened. We had a yeah. meeting to see how the world would react. Who were they talking about when it was pre uh, the C word? Uh, event 201. Um, Bill it, Gates. Uh, aye, but they're like, they yeah. had them like they got Johnson and Johnson and the Navy and all these people around the table who would be the first responders yeah. if a pandemic broke out, and then the pandemic broke out and they were nowhere to be seen. <laughs> Bill <laughs> Gates, you cunt, and your fucking Casio watch. <laughs> Did I say that before? Rub it, rub it in my face. Mm-hmm. Don't pretend. You know, like yeah. oh, I just have a wee what? I'm not rich. I'm a simple man. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> what about uh, the? the <sighs> PK and Shakira, did you see that crack? What? Just you just reminded me there about a Casio watch. What what was the crack with so, that? I actually did see a picture, but I never read into it. Me being a watch so they, channel. They separated or whatever. Obviously they've been separate, but she released a song and <coughs> uh he must have been caught cheating or he's with somebody new or something at this stage. And she said you traded in a you, you traded in a Ferrari for a, a, a Twingo um and you traded in a Rolex for a Casio watch. Yeah. Uh, this is the lyrics. I'm sorry, I'm paraphrasing. I know what Shakira. I don't want to ruin her lyrical genius. Yeah, but uh, so cult. She's all around the country. No, f- nothing wrong with a twingo, lad. So Pico, Pico, as I call him now, PK, he turned up with a twingo wearing a Casio watch, and he's in discussions now with Casio about his sponsorship. <laughs> all in the space of 24 hours, like it's fucking mental. <laughs> the, welcome to the world. You need to start a. You need to get Maureen to write a rap or a song. Wait till about Na- the- wait till Nico reacts to that video. <laughs> a pride and opinion. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with a Casio? You can. <laughs> Shakira's blacklisted now for messing up with the Casio community. No, you can't say blacklisted. Didn't know Shakira would be getting into the the watch politics over here. Mm. I've seen watches where I'd perform in every other stock in the world. They're right. There recently, yeah. All across the board, crypto, regular stock shit. Maybe. Like the actual... Because they know what's coming. Nobody will be able to tell time anymore. Because your phone... <laughs> is, that, is that what they're going your, off the Your back? phone won't work and the internet's gone, so how did you tell the time? <laughs> you need to have a watch. <laughs> yeah, that'll be that'll be my main currency. Do you want to wank? And I can time you. <laughs> <laughs> when your smartwatch becomes a bracelet, that's when you'll know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what used to it used to do things, but uh, yeah. do anymore now. <laughs> but uh, I don't know whether it was just like you know the watches were made out of like pre- you know like the watches made out of platinum, so mm. all of a sudden it cost like a fucking oh, yeah, fortune. Yeah. 
Platinum's a big one. Heard people are investing in platinum. A lot of platinum. A lot of a lot of um, what do you call them? Precious metals. Trading. That's what I was gonna say. How do I, like you know? How do you get into that fucking Joe Rogan coltan mine stock? That's what I yeah, want. Yeah, that's what you want to do. That's some of that sweet uh, I get, shares. I get to turn up in a fur coat with a hyena on a lead and stare into some fucking <laughs> pit where there's just a load of boys digging and dying. Just a load of eight year olds digging yeah. out the cobalt. For the fucking laptops. Just He's been good job, lads. <laughs> I've got you all a burrito. It's full of fucking locusts. <laughs> Enjoy yourselves, boys. But there's saute sauce over them. <laughs> 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 well, that's it. Look at this, Grant. That's it. Lad. That's like the time I had uh, chicken feet. You know, it was it had black bean that's sauce on it. I was like, sauce, yeah. you know, be all right. I'd suck a cock with black bean sauce. On. <laughs> Can't say black these days. <laughs> <laughs> African American bean sauce. <laughs> I think that's a porn category, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me. African-American black bean sauce. <coughs> I, I said it twice, I don't know. said it twice, I don't know. African-American bean sauce, yeah. <laughs> well, maybe that's what, uh, you know, only fa- well, I suppose there's no networks. So when the networks go down, you can't yeah, have an only fans. That's what I'm saying. Think of all the things we would lose tomorrow. Like 20, tw- like 20 30 only fans will just be someone with a load of flyers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just standing in the street, like, take a look at my gate. No, you won't be able to show it because it's, uh, it'll be a decent exposure. It'll be like a scratch and snuff thing. Oh, here, say, <laughs> say no, 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 over no, no, say no more. Uh, Instagram lifted the ban on uh, nips. Not all nips. Pardon me? Not all nips. <laughs> right. <laughs> Only trans and non-binary people. Oh, those clickbait motherfuckers. But I, I've seen I've seen people really push the limits on um, Instagram, mm. you know, because what the, I think people's business now is, you know, you, you see a hot chick jiggling her tits and you go, you click in and they're just like, oh, what's this link? And then you hit the link and then you're on the fucking mm. the OnlyFans. But I, people, I have, are, people are in like, like I have like, spotted the, the, like, the girls who try and like um, they're wearing the low cut top, but they're trying to show. Just a, a, a brief top of the circle. You know the what I mean? Try, yeah. <laughs> bit of discoloration, as they say. <laughs> just a wee bit of, just a wee bit to see how you know, and they're still getting bald. The hue it? of the nip. Uh, you know? I read that this morning that somebody will come in and go, oh, What's wrong actually? But no, I read that this morning it was like, Look, I um, thought they were just gonna I uh, I was about to share the, the post and be like, My fucking show promos for twenty twenty three are about to get real exciting. <laughs> Just fucking Nile in the 120 frames. Just, <laughs> just big, luscious fucking milk bags flying all over the place. Now it's like, come get us Telegraph building. <laughs> Live! <laughs> Teddy's trimmed my manscaped. Yeah. Next. Not a hair in sight. Next, <laughs> next no, that will be my tits. Like, it'll be Mickey's, but like next week. <laughs> Next week's Lavery's lineup. <laughs> Rory Woods. The names on the tits. Yeah. <laughs> Tracked. <laughs> Just up and down. <laughs> and Woods is W nipple nipple. <laughs> DS. Jordan Robinson. That's his own tits. <laughs> that's his own. <laughs> I'm upset about that now. So it's only trans nips. So uh, trans and, and uh, non-binary. Yeah, I think. Uh, I don't know how they're going to police that. I don't know if that's maybe maybe that what I read might have been a clickbait thing too. I don't know. You know what? Uh, Isn't it? I mean, it is. A f- I think. I think like. It would do no harm to have one place, Instagram, where you're kind of like, let's try and keep it a bit clean. You know, keep mm. it like a, keep it a regular day to day app. Just, yeah. it's not like Twitter where you you have to watch who's around you when you open it. Well, Twitter, yeah, I, but you see, I'm I'm a bit of a greenhorn in that scenario. I didn't realize that Twitter was as rotten as it is. Oh, it is. I, you know, so. Uh, only oh, about on, on everything, like, I, but I didn't realize. Well, I knew obviously there was a Russian like, soldiers getting their fucking heads blown off. Like it's the the child porn scenario wasn't also uh, okay. a, a real problem, but <laughs> yeah, darkness. Um, I was born on the dark. That was the hidden fucking hashtag and all that crack. The thing. Mm, yeah, 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 But even like two or three weeks ago, lesbians was trending, right? On yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was trending. I don't lesbians know. Just, was I don't know if it just trends for me. I don't know. But so I assumed then it was something to do with the uh, you know the Scottish bill about the gender you know I thought there was something political about it and I clicked it and <laughs> it was it was just a, a steady stream of tribbing, which I used to think what well, it used to be called scissoring yes but now tribbing yeah and like by the time like I was like twenty five videos in and it still kept on going like it didn't there was no political M- thing MTV tribs yeah. <laughs> Um, after about the 30th video, I just, you know, I thought, Jesus, it must be some politics. There was, there was a different steady stream. <laughs> <laughs> and then you logged out. <laughs> <laughs> but 
But I didn't say. I genuinely said to my wife, I was like, like I genuinely clicked on that because I thought it was something political. I said, yeah. but if you are a twelve year old, yeah, who think you know, bang, boom, it's just gonna, yeah. you know, there's no. I was like, fuck. I thought Twitter was kind of like a, sort of like I wonder, you know, on the sort of data entry like initial stage mm. of going on to twitter where you do have to link a facebook or you know at some point yeah. you put in your legit details i wonder is it the same if you have an account and you're oh, fucking 12 so they seen my my uh x videos search history and then linked that to my yeah. friend and ah, the, that explains it it's, That's the, what... it's, it's the algorithm man. and sometimes it's helping you know like you know if you're if you're in the like trainers and bullshit like that mm like i am mm -hmm. they are very accurate with your tastes and choices like they'll right. be like here's the pair of shoes you want to buy today and i'll be like oh you, you got me again you can't <laughs> you got me again uh, well in fairness they got me now too so maybe they, they knew exactly what i was but looking I was for doing, I, I literally have a bit of material at the minute about you know going on the home page mm -hmm. of your porn and they've gotten they've selected things for you now and you're like i don't want i didn't come here to sell recommended for you i didn't come here to sell down <laughs> You will I, watch this. Yeah. And this is the, what we'll the, the, you know, the, the, what's the thing? The fucking, uh, the thrill is in the chase. Mm -hmm. You know? You got to hunt for it, like. You got to fucking sift oh, it wow. out and, you know, leave the good tabs open. Yeah. I wonder when you, you load up four videos and you come through the first one, you three more to go. And you're like, ah, oh, for fuck's sake, I got three more to watch. <laughs> <laughs> They're all buffered now. If, if, already if, I get, if I could be as focused in my research in any other direction, <laughs> <laughs> fucking 25 tabs open, like, <laughs> fret again on the keyboard. <laughs> All over the place. <coughs> uh, but no, we wouldn't be watching them things now. We're a very sensible old man now. With it's so, I mean, it's just so available. You can watch. That's what I'm saying. I just I, 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 I genuinely, but again, at least with X videos or any other, like, what was it, Red Tube and all that sort of stuff, it, you had to go, but I mean, to be on, <laughs> just as open as it is on Twitter, that's what sort of, I, I had never went, now, that's not to say I don't look for porn. Of course I do. <laughs> I just never went to Twitter to look for it. You know? Yeah, I didn't know I could. <laughs> no, yeah, that's the only place I get it. Yeah, it's fucking great. It's full of stuff. Ah, it's filth. You it got, is you, pretty you bad. Got, like. You got that panic thumb though, in case you fucking mm. hit, a, hit a like on it. Yeah, and the other. You know what the move is there? You just fucking like a hundred of them, and then be like, "I'm hacked. I've been hacked." <laughs> yeah, that old chestnut. Because there was a there was an MMA fighter in the UFC, this girl. And there's a big scandal because she was like, oh, we can see what you're liking on, on Twitter. And it was just all just big black dudes just firing the pipe into these guys. Right. Like it was all, it was very the specific. One, the, the one, it was yeah. yeah, just big fat black dicks. And she was like, I swear to God, I haven't logged into my, she goes, I don't even know my Twitter logins. She goes, I haven't been on it in fucking forever. And I didn't find out until fucking three days later. No, oh, best days too late. My bollocks. But it's fun, but she was so chill about it that you're like, I feel like that's, she was just like, oh, it's hilarious. I had no idea what was happening. Yeah, I had no idea. My bollocks. Now I've just got 25,000 extra followers. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. <laughs> but um, yeah, the, I think I was listening to Blind Boy yesterday and he had some sex education woman on. She was just like, it must be a fucking minefield having like kids now. Trying to keep yeah, them off shit. I, like, I don't know how, I don't know how they would deal with, because it's so um, open and so accessible. Yeah. They're, it's so much younger now. Way younger yeah. than than anybody else would have experienced. So you're talking like into sometimes into primary school, but I probably which is fucking scary. But I always remember like um, the dot. You know when there was always like a dude or whatever with like an older brother who knew how to access that. Like you yeah. were see whenever I was growing up when the internet was just coming about, you you didn't have all these fucking websites to rhyme yeah. off. But then there'd be someone twenty five minutes for a website to load for fuck's sake. I know. <laughs> but then, a video. You'd always have some like. This girl on the podcast on Blind Boy was saying about the first thing she seen was she had a sleepover and someone's you had been like oh someone showed me this and they did a bit of googling and the first video of any of that sort that mm -hmm. she'd seen was of one of these fucking Japanese things where the girls getting her asshole pulled open and they're pouring a bowl of fucking eels into it or something so that like that's what's happening that's what I mean there's no you, it's not even like oh you got your hands on a wee dirty magazine it's like I was going to say the first time I seen a fucking vagina was uh, taken from a bush. Literally, yeah, <laughs> bush in a bush, and that was, you know, it was a magazine. And I was like, I, I still don't really know what you do with that. <laughs> yeah. there, was, there was no real, there was no directions, it was just the photographs. So you're like, dude, where does it where does it go? Yeah, and then the porn came on, you're like, oh, okay, <laughs> now you know that's where it goes. That's it. I actually remember. Well, thanks for your video, Dad. It's always that's it's always at these sleepovers. I remember there's a bunch of lads got together, <laughs> went to this guy's house because he had a set of decks. Of course it did. Fuck yeah, bro. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he was on some website and it was, and again, like one of the first exposure to like 
pornography mm-hmm. but it was like some bondage where it was like some See, real acid, deep bondage yeah. thing and i was like man this is creeping me out like yeah. you gotta ease yourself in with a bit of vintage yeah but vintage wasn't hardcore it was just nice and easy yeah and you didn't know where the hole was because there was so much hair you yeah. know what i mean that's the sort of way you don't want to be able that's to... more realistic to what they were experiencing when you're 13 or 14 yeah you don't want to the first thing you see is like you can see someone's innards you know yeah. you're like no thanks yeah. yeah you'll put you off sex for life if you see some of the stuff oh, you yeah. see in your adult life if, oh. you don't want to see a gape <laughs> till you're about 10 years in <laughs> although who's who's in the gapes yes uh, is it bill yeah. gapes <laughs> that's the name of the podcast <laughs> yeah <coughs> Give me a, 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 the new craze of gaping. Like how like, everybody's gaping these days. <laughs> Gape nation. <laughs> Gape nation. Like, like Just imagine you like blowing smoke rings up a dude. Like no one goes. No one's like goes on a date, not, and then they're like, "How'd that date go?" And you're like, "Oh man, Just, I mean, we had a good chat over dinner, and obviously after, man." Some gape on her. Like, you know, you don't want any... No. You, you don't want your get new the, girlfriend to be, like, you can put an arm in her asshole. No. no. You can flip a coin in there, no yeah. bother. You know, t- toss her like a pizza. You yeah. Know, fucking like a, the dough. You know, you spin up, you got there, just spin around. <laughs> like, you're deep in the game when you're gaping, like. <laughs> Brutal. No, you don't want anything gaping. Nothing gaping, no. A, a wound. You want the... Uh, yeah. You don't want a... You want the opposite <laughs> of gaping. And anything else that gapes. A gaping wound is the only thing I can think of. Pardon yeah, me. no one is like, you drive up there, between there, turn left, through the gap, and away on up. Like, <laughs> well, it, I know. If you're around carrying more, you might hear it be pronounced gap. <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't, uh, yeah, you don't use the term gap for anything else no. other than someone's destroyed asshole. Yeah, a gaping wound is the only time I've ever heard the word used for an open wound. Gaping. A gaping wound. Have you ever had a gaping wound? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's not nice. Where was it? On the inside of my thigh. How'd you get that gap? I was very young, mm. and I <laughs> thought I could drive. No, when I say very young, I mean like eight. Yeah. And my dad worked for a sign company, and he had the work van home, and I was in pretending to drive it. I didn't know what I was doing. But somewhere along the line, now I don't know if my dad was fucking we were tipsy. I don't know what happened. But as I pulled back the gear stick, I hit the handbrake. And next thing you know, I'm veering towards four houses. <laughs> About to land in the living room. <laughs> no way. Only some of the older boys in the park seeing what was happening came in and pulled the handbrake up, and whatever. So when my dad came out like a fucking bull, he dragged me out of the car and out of the van. And when he did, there was a sign at the edge, a big plastic <sighs> edge, and it just ripped the whole inner. Oh. And they didn't give a fuck because nah. all they were worried about was I nearly fucking lost his job. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, I, and I'm sitting in bed and blood passion. I'd be like, I'm a fucking World War II victim. And I'm like, oh. well, this is, and they didn't get fuck. I had to go to bed. <laughs> just bleed it out. <laughs> just bleed it out. And to the point now, I have a massive open scar because it never was stitched. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. See, you kids yeah, yeah. these days See, think you're fucking have it rough. Think you fucking have it. My fucking parents <laughs> will let me have my fucking Nintendo Switch or whatever you fucking <laughs> lunatics are playing these days. <clears throat> Take a Full, look at this. Uh, <laughs> warfare with the parents <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> My head's covered in scars too. Loads of falls and fucking trips and yeah. busted heads and stones fired at me and you know just yeah. just being a fucking child running around. Well, that's the thing. Like we've one son now, and I'm just like, you know, he's got away quite. He fe- he slept and chipped his tooth mm-hmm. right in front of me. Just ran in the kitchen, slept, Something, bang, yeah. tooth out. Okay, here we go. Oh, but like, see, when I was a kid, nightmare. Oh, I, I had three sets of stitches in one week, <laughs> and there was like a quiet chat of like. You know, you might get a visit from a social worker <laughs> to see what's going on with this <laughs> kid. And it was just me being a fucking lunatic. Same as that, just being clumsy as fuck. And Getting hit in the head with two peas, fucking, <laughs> you know, breaking all sorts of shit. <laughs> fucking, I actually remember taking myself to the hospital once because mm-hmm. I'd like done something on my wrist and it was just down the road and I just cycled to the hospital and went in. I was like, my arm's fucked. Because <laughs> like, I don't know you're here. And I'm like, nah, but. Yeah. It was a thumb actually. It was a thumb. I was like, take a look at that thumb. It's massive. And they just wrapped it up. And, it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. and you go. Good community hospital. You, oh, know, you roll in there and be like, oh, they're falling a fist fight with a man again. We were a black ointment. Black, 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 black ointment. Iodine, yeah. <laughs> Scary as fuck. Oh, I had the, uh, the, gape, the biggest gape I ever had was <coughs> that car crash I was in. And I had my yeah. head in the windscreen. It was a big old gape. Like. Oh, I had a big fucking. The skin's tied on the top of your head mm-hmm. and it just goes wide open. Just see the skull. See the skull. She's washing the glass out of it now. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes she said to the other one she's like Denise we got a squirter I was like what does that mean she goes you've just had a wee vessel it's squirting everywhere oh. and sure enough when she stood back she was covered oh okay yeah and I had my hand like 
had my head like this while she was stitching the top of my head. And uh, all the blood was running forward and had it like coagulated. Oh, so there was lovely. basically like half of he's a bit bug. There was like, uh, <laughs> there was just like, like jam, you oh, know what I mean? Just, just a big, as fuck. Like a oh, jammy right. lump. Mm. Clots and all that. good times. <laughs> Like a lumpy gravy was and, like straight uh, and I remember they, were, they, were, they went like He's had a bit of a head trauma Don't be going to sleep For as long as you can Stay up as long as you can Oh yeah My mom was like Well you can you can. I'll lie beside you You know And keep an eye on you She lay down she felt <laughs> And I was just Obviously full of adrenaline I didn't sleep anyway I was just sitting there Like well, what do I do now Can I go to sleep <laughs> Yeah afraid of case You go to sleep You're gonna die Yeah Fucking head hanging off me. Yeah, now they don't give a fuck. You'd be right. Over here. Or actually, it's the opposite now. I suppose more than more worried about a concussion. All <coughs> that. You see the. Oh yeah. They're trying to bring it in the Premier League. There, seen this morning that we were talking about it. I could turn down yesterday. I know it's funny. Like mm. um, people are people are especially in rugby and rugby stuff like that. One, yeah. They're like you know, because people are complaining on one side of it, going like this is uh, ruining the sport, and you have to you know like you have to remember it is rugby. <laughs> yeah. So like. These giant guys are running at each other, and then at the last minute, someone changes direction, and someone doesn't like put the shoulder into them properly and clips their head, mm-hmm. and they get sent off immediately because they're just they're they're trying to get to the place really quickly. Where they're like, right, we you do yeah. not throw a high tackle ever. Yeah, if you can't wrap it up and put them down, it's uh, and yeah, it is scary. There's, there's, there's a lot of people, a lot of serious damage in boxing. The same thing too. Right? Is, yeah. What do you see the amount of concussions after the? February the February the eleventh. Uh, the comedian date to say February. February the ele- yeah the comedians yeah. boxing. Mm-hmm. Them boys are, there's a few concussions signed out there. I would say there's a few. You know I don't know if you could do much more damage to their brain, but <laughs> if you tried, <laughs> yeah. but uh, there'll be a few people. The doctor go, oh no, he's all right. Just go ahead. Don't need to check him. He's grand. <laughs> Speaking of Mickey last night, I love how like. He'd be like, I'm taking it seriously. Tell him on the piss, and then I'm I'm not going to try. You know, he's just uh, like he's just like <laughs> he's in between on us, but not. I think, I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be a good crack. It'll be uh, interesting to see. Some of the the, the the matchups are bang on, and some of them are a bit yeah. weird. But, uh, but that's, you're going to run into that, aren't you, when there's not enough people? Yeah, well, that's it. So we're going to have to, will we come out of retirement next year, me and you? Uh, scrap it up. Would you Would you ever fight? Like, would you ever do it? Uh, I was speaking to Fizzy. My, my main problem is because I was fucking tore my cruciate ligament about eight, nine years ago, and uh, it's never fully healed. Well, I have a bad knee uh, that's, that's So basically, it was my wife went, if you did that knee in again, because I, I had to wear a leg brace for yeah. four fucking months. Uh, and she's like, you're not staying here. Did We're you get surgery on it? Uh, yeah, I got mm. it all fixed. So again, it's, it's even worse than to, to do, risk it. Do it again. But I was chatting to Fizzo uh, about this, and I was like, only the short turnaround wouldn't be possible. But for next year, there's a program of work apparently can be done. To help it, so we'll see. We'll see how we'll see who survives this one first before I commit to the other one. I, I can't believe no one did a, a fi- like a promo photo of just like the two names and then two bellies touching, <laughs> and, and the and the boy's not even in shot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just two guts touching each other. <laughs> you would get no guts with Shane and Johnny now. There'd be two. Uh, you'd, nah. be, you'd be searching for a way for a gut there. In fairness, uh, but uh, yeah, Mickey and McCarney now. Concentration be- camp boys. <laughs> It's uh yeah I don't know how that's going to work out I know I know some of them are taking it serious some are taking it you know lighthearted or whatever and uh, I don't know it'll, it'll be good to see because the, the fight talk is one thing but the actual fight <laughs> is a different thing altogether so your game plan goes out the window as soon as you get fucking touched uh, uh, hopefully they all take it seriously and I'll beat the fuck out of each other I love that <laughs> I want to see I want to see blood. <laughs> I Hopefully it's like, like I'd like to be in the front row. You know the way they'd always like to go, you're next. Yeah. And they're like, come on, hey. That's what I said. Like me and Dave are gonna turn up in the fur coats and all and the big glasses <laughs> and just be like slabbering at people. I'll be like Tyson Fury's dad. <laughs> yeah. The big fucking does it. Just shout at people. <laughs> I look like Tyson Fury's dad. <laughs> <Actually, dude. laughs> well, we've got a job for you. Um, the big fucking does it. Right, so fair play, Lum, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good crack. Fair play, then it's been a crack sure anyway. <laughs> Let me see. I'm gonna watch some videos. I've, we'll we'll dig into these questions here because people send me so many videos. What's this? Can you hear that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe should have added these first. Then yeah. there was gonna be. I'm gonna kick your tits off your face. Domestic abuse. Why are your tits on your face? Um, have you read Prince Harry's book or <laughs> listened to it? No. Why not, man? It's research. It's a fucking question that asked me. Oh, if here's a section from it. Was because you know apparently was oscillating between extremely sensitive. And Hold on. <laughs> my penis was oscillating between extremely sensitive and borderline traumatized. The last place I wanted to be was Frost Nippers Down. 
I had been trying some home remedies, including one recommended by a friend. She'd urged me to apply Elizabeth Arden cream. My mum used that on her lips. You want me to put that on my todger? It works, Harry. Trust me. It's the worst Harry Potter book I've ever read. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Potter and the crust, crusty it walls. It works, Harry. It works, Harry. My mother used to use it on her lips. Put some Best get it from the sauce. <laughs> Put some cream in your wand, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> am I gonna? Am I gonna I put? As if my mother was right there in the room, and I took a smidge and applied it down there. <laughs> Man, the fuck is that actually? Is that or is that a piss take or is that actually a clip from it? No, because apparently it is quite scandalous. Like, oh, right, okay. but it's, it's someone like who was it said? I heard someone saying like he's probably just like here's everything so that you'll fucking leave me alone. Mm. You know, here's all the stuff. Uh, but, obviously, the tinfoil would be stingling with me. You want to see all that because you have to ask the question. <laughs> Uh, like why why is every uh, single person talking about it do you know what I mean I don't mean like we know the answers because but I mean who who sends out the memo and go right every news channel every radio station every TV program is going to be talking about this now I mean, and it happens, and then you're like, "Is that the old Mockingbird type vibes?" That sort of, yeah. So, and and then the PDF gets shared around WhatsApp, and you're like, "This is fucking the worst." What propaganda. was the PDF? The whole book is given for free around WhatsApp. It's oh, right, okay. around, you know. So it's like, okay, they they want to make sure everybody is talking about this, and then it worked. Everybody's talking about it. <laughs> it's like fucking. Yeah, yeah, but everybody, you know, you know, yeah. If you think no, but I mean, if you take, look, take a, take a step back and look at it and go, why are we all? Like, why is that entire fucking? Yeah, well, it's obviously know. a big PR plan because that's what I mean. So you know, the, the, people the show, still don't see past that. That's what I'm saying. But they the Netflix think, thing, you know, you can't yeah. you can't come out with a full fucking Netflix documentary or series or whatever it was, and be like, uh, you know, we just we just want to get away from the limelight and all this bullshit. And yeah. you're like, okay, why why is there a fucking Netflix show that's the biggest thing on earth? And then like, it's not like they did that. And we're like, no, be good if you could write a book. Like, it's all been. Yeah, happening one big saying, wave. But not only that, then you have the media then going, "Well, this is clearly what we need to talk about now." Uh-huh. And then they point. You know, I've, I've been listening to radio the last couple of weeks. I'm going, "What the fuck is the obsession here? Or what are they distracting you from?" Yeah, to try and get everybody talking about this. What's the insect meeting? Isn't it? It's the insect meeting. That's what it is. So they're deciding mm-hmm. the world's end. You're going. I can't believe he puts cream on his cock. He puts cream, he puts cream on his todger. Am I going to put this on my todger? <laughs> My mother used to put this on her lips. <laughs> Such a fuck. That's why I thought it was a piss take. Applied with a todger. <laughs> the cream comes with a free application todger. Daddy applied it for me. I mean, it's mm-hmm. it's a bit like a lips. You know, if you got a wee penis shaped thing and you rubbed it on your lips, we'd get it. It'd be good. Be good, huh? Yeah, yeah. It would work. <laughs> Most action I'd have had for a while. Have you ever injured your cock? I broke my banjo string one time. Well, that's as bad as it gets, really. Yeah, that's very, very sore. Very, very painful. Doing what? I'm sexy a woman. <laughs> mm-hmm. Todger and a woman? With a human too? Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, that was whew, not good. I always understood. How, like, what sort of stress has the penis to be under before the old banjo? Serious. Serious. <laughs> Serious. Serious pile driving. Serious. Serious? Yeah. Where, what, what position were you in when that happened? Lying on my back. Ah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The downward force. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, basically, because of physics, that's usually the best place for me. <laughs> when you're ha- when you're fucking gravity. Aye, aye, that's that was a painful one. Do you aye. feel it at the time? And oh, feel it? Aye. Fucking hell! I think half the fucking park heard me roaring and screaming when it happened. Was it? Fucking. You're in the park, bro. <laughs> <laughs> half of the estate. I should yeah. Say. Uh, yeah. Fuck. That was a, that was a sore one. Um. Is it like Kill Bill? Is it? I'm imagining you take it out. It's like. Like, it's I, there's a lot of blood. I, yeah, it's yeah, and and then what to be then? honest with you, I was I was I was only eighteen, <sighs> so I didn't know I had a banjo string. Mm. I didn't know there was such a thing could happen, so I thought, oh, fuck, I broke it. You know, I thought that was it done. I, like I've damaged this in some way that I can't ever use it again. Aye. But fucking next day, boy, I was back at it again. Oh really? Healed up that quick? Oh well, it's not like, next day. Like you know maybe, <laughs> maybe a week, like but. Do you, have, uh, do you have to get any sort, you know, like medical? No, medical I was too fucking mortified. I didn't want yeah. to, you know what I mean. Again, I didn't know there was it's such a, bit a thing. Of a, it's a bit of a flex, though, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I. Yeah. Okay, before you say, I've I, read I, the deck off myself. I didn't know it was moment. a flex. It was about thirty. I was like, uh, oh, for fuck's sake, for the last ten years, I could have been honest. Yeah. <laughs> I've read my deck off. Yeah. I'm sorry to say, well, no, there was actually a, a person there, uh-huh. <laughs> alive. <laughs> 
<laughs> cream uh, in my toilet. What about yourself? Any any <laughs> Nah, I've never really damaged it that bad. I did nip the mid of my shirt. Just when you say nip. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh. On um, a button fly. But I was embarrassingly like trying to do the worm when I was drunk. <laughs> and I, as I came down, the two buttons just clanged together on the meat. Yeah. I say meat. Uh, yeah. The middle of my penis. <laughs> oh, but it was a perfect, I mean, it was, I think I've told this before, but it was a perfect, like I'd been shot with a paintball, you know, like, Already right. pain with uh, you know sort of <laughs> bruise around it like the middle where the where the nip occurred with YKK across the middle of us you know the yeah. <laughs> zip <laughs> which I was a bit sensitive for a minute oh, weirdly no, talking about like uh, cutting the inside of your thigh I, I was playing rugby once and mm-hmm. a guy stuck this is back when if if there was a rock you could like rake people out of it yeah you could just fucking stamp on them mm-hmm. and like. I've seen scrum halves like stomp on people's heads to get out of the ball and I was like so brutal but they sort of stopped that but uh, yeah someone just fucking just big boot in and it went right up the inside of my leg to, to, like way up way mm-hmm. up to like the side of my balls nearly but it, fe- it felt like just a total groin pit but it was yeah I was like was okay. you like yeah I was bleeding yeah. like fuck oh, fuck right uh, that's some force for a stud to, to break it could, yeah. yeah but th- th- you see that, that was so long ago like they they banned like plastic they banned like football boots you had to wear like big round metal studs right so if you wore like a football boot like a rugby studs a big round cock of a thing uh-huh. and then football studs were like square like that That's right, and when yeah. you walked on cement they'd go all sharp so people like they would get really sharp uh, and it's just cut it. me to bits like no stitches or anything but it was fucking bleeding all over the place i've got a few razor blades in them yeah. side but them. i couldn't walk like because you couldn't your, oh, le- your legs couldn't brittle, touch yeah. the trousers couldn't touch it and <sighs> i was like oh the jiffing thing oh jeez. i can remember actually having a pair of trousers and like sh- moving a wee bit because i was in class and like uni and i moved a wee bit and it like stuck you know because it was like bleeding or like weeping and uh, i could feel the fucking trousers come it off it was gaping it was a gap oh, in there oh jesus i could feel it come off it's fucking disgusting so there you are so harry harry elizabeth arden so the fact that he he, he named the brand is that a, is a sponsorship with him is he oh no doubt <laughs> i bet you elizabeth arden cream has gone through the fucking roof now what do you say about you something in that any cock cream where's the cock cream <laughs> section <laughs> They put out an ad and be like, don't, don't put this in your lips. <laughs> yeah, please don't put this in your todger. Yeah. Or put, your mother's lips. Don't put any creams in your todger. <laughs> well, reckon, reckon when society falls, hmm. economic, economies collapse, world war breaks out, and millions die, that fellas will still have to put the bins. Oh, you bastard, you got me there. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be burning the contents of your bin for uh, hate, probably. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I dare say. <laughs> uh We'll do another quick question before I show you this video. Best guitar solo of all time has to be Beat It. Dean, incorrect. Beat It? Beat it? That's a riff. Yeah, it's not a guitar solo. Oh, no, it's a good solo, Beat It. Van Hill. Uh, there is, oh, I know, but it's not. I, by the way, I can't It's play. not the famous, you know what I mean? It's not the. I'm not playing anything anymore in this podcast. <laughs> I had to Bye. fucking edit my, my oh, was right? Patreon episode about four times the other day. Because there's music on it? But it was a fucking Eurovision entry that got banned or something. It was like a German thing. And I played it and they were like, and it was, it wasn't like banned in certain countries or copyright claim. Mm. It was like full block. Like you can't. Uh, I'm trying to think of other guitar solos. Ten blocked. What's your, what do you think is the best guitar? Because you're going to have to. These are two actual guitar players. Like, n- so. Well, <laughs> well. <laughs> I, I own a guitar. I own a guitar uh, too. But, but like, you, you got to be like. You can't be like, because if you said like, what's your favorite favorite guitar solo? I'd be mm. like, there's a live version of the Led Zeppelin song. Ah, it gets so yeah, weird. It does, yeah. It's got to have to be something broad that's like, well, it's, it's, it's going to be Zeppelin, isn't it? Like, it's going to be. Stairway to Heaven. Stairway to Heaven. Stairway to Heaven. That is yeah. the best guitar solo. Not my favorite, but it is the best. Then Freebird too is pretty. Oh, Freebird's great. Freebird's pretty oh, fucking Long. Long. Very long. Yeah. Long. Yeah. Hotel. I don't know. It's a great solo. What uh, is? Hotel California. Yeah. Oh, Clapton, when Clapton did uh, "While My Guitar Gently Weeps," oh yeah, that's not yeah. bad. But then, nice. did you see Prince doing the live version? Yeah, I think so. Maybe. Jesus, watch out for a solo. Purple Rain as well. Purple Rain's not bad. I knew Prince was a good guitar player, but I didn't realize how good it was. And like, it's not until you see him on the stage with as a Tom Petty and like all these other legends, and they're all like, "What the fuck?" Oh, I... <laughs> he is unbelievable. Who's this? Prince. Oh yeah, he rips. Oh fuck, he does, man! He, like it's it's, it's, it's well. they, they must have given him like 
The only way, obviously, they give them 12 bars or 16 bars to go and do. They must have given them like 64 bars. Am I right? You just take them. <laughs> just you go yourself and do your whole thing. It's fucking mental. Yeah. You got to check that out if you haven't seen it. Guitar solos. God. Is there any Guns N' Roses? I was going to say, there? November Rain again. There's, no, there's a fucking. There's a couple of bits of slash in there that would do the job too. Metallica, do they have any? He's shite. Nah. Uh, oh, fuck. The final word. <laughs> oh, there we go. I love him, but he's shite. <laughs> yeah. uh, I've seen one. Of, did I send you a video of like what you think it sounds like versus what he's playing? Oh, yeah. And the guy's just like, yeah, he's yeah. fucking molesting the guitar. There's a there's a uh, a guy called Niels Lofren. You know Niels Lofren? You know Niels Lofren? No. He would have been the. For Mama? <laughs> no. <laughs> he would have been uh, Springsteen's guitarist in the E Street Band. Okay. Nice. And he has a live acoustic album. And there's a song on there, man. He does a fucking solo on it. And I remember hearing it in the mid '90s when I was going to guitar lessons, and bringing it to my guitar tutor, and going. And I remember him going, "What the? F- what is he doing? Like, how is he? There's more than one guitar." I was like, "No, there's not. There's just one guitar." He was like, "No, there has to be." And I was like, "No." And then he watched the video. And he was like, "That's one guitar." The sound he was coming out was unbelievable. So if you ever get a chance? Uh, I think it's Keith Don't Go mm. by Neil Lofren. Lofren, the uh, live version is fucking mental. God, it's such an open question that it's mm. stumped me. So many in my head I'm going through. They're so Toto. What? Toto. Toto as well. Fucking right. epic solos. Some solos in there. Like, yeah. Lucas or whatever his name is. Yeah. Whatever his name is. Um, Unbelievable. Gary Moore as well. Some of the stuff he did oh, with Thin Lizzy. You know what I mean? It's fucking prison Still walkways. Got Still got the blues. It's a wild... Oh, we could be here all day. <laughs> mine, are, I know, and my, mine are also like specific. You know, it's always like a wee added bit on a live version of a song that's not in the original yeah, or something. And you, it's yeah, like a wee improvisation. You think, oh, Like that God. fucking... And there's ones that maybe aren't even that complicated. They just give me the absolute root. Yeah. Like, you get that. You don't know why. It's just something that you absolutely fucking love. It's mad. Like, I was playing McCann. Because McCann has not listened to rock music at all. No. So I, he's like, what's... Good? You know, I was just playing him some things. But like, hold on... Oh. There's the solo on this, which obviously the original song doesn't have a solo. No. But the way this creeps in gets me up a fucking half it. I've never seen that. Right, we, we hear the way this Led Zeppelin. We hear this creeps in. What year is that? 74, is it? We hear this. And that gets me a sideways pocket boner. Also, whoever's edited this, <laughs> love it, love it. Hey, just fucking deadly thing, man. That bit in, it, it might get loud when mm-hmm. he plays a whole lot of love, and the other two are just like, <laughs> you can see the crazy. I can't, but, like, that must give you the, like, <laughs> if you are a guitar player and you're you, with Jimmy Page, if you've grown up with that, yeah. you know, like, legendary shit, like, you can't even believe Jimmy Page is still alive. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. and then he's there I'm, dressed like fucking Beethoven. <laughs> and he's like, running, running, down, 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 down. you just be like, I, I can't. I'm outer body right now. I can't I've watched believe. that so many times. The two of them just stop to stare, and then they just, then you know they're like, oh, we can join in. Yeah. <laughs> you can see them get so excited that they can play along with them. Uh, and then Edge is like me bringing out a guitar in front of Nile. I learned, yeah. uh, <laughs> if you heard of this, um, I always find uh, it a G chord. <laughs> Have you heard of that? <laughs> the age is such a simple guitar player; it's unbelievable. But then again, he, uh, that came about from because he he had to. Because uh, that, that was a very deli- was so shit. <laughs> that, that was a deliberate move to throw him in that movie, just to be like, yeah, I mean, a if different you, if you type were, if, of I was guy. Gonna say, but if you were going to try and get actual like Jack White, should have been there. I think Jack White's a fucking amazing guitarist. But the edge shouldn't have been there. <laughs> I presume it's his production company or something put together. But it's very, or, you know, but it, it, it's like Ricky Gervais been in the talking funny. Yeah, you're like you shouldn't be there, but you know what came about because you had a link yeah. with HBO. But you, but you sort of like, you know, it's like you could find, you could find loads of like really good like blues guitarists that all kind of play the same type of blues. Yeah. But no, you know. It's the ones that have like an original sound. Nearly that's why they were. It has to be it. something different. Yeah, that's absolutely it has to be because otherwise you're just yeah like you're just, you're literally stealing. <laughs> you're just taking off other. Because like Maureen's dad was like, "Have you heard of Joe Bonamassa or oh. something?" Right, and he's fucking brilliant. Oh, unbelievable. Yeah. But there's something about just here's another you know balding white guy with sunglasses on while he's ripping it. Where you're mm. like, whatever. I know. The fuck, you but know, I don't right? forget about him in his time and and you know like him and Santana and all them sort of ones like they were fucking unbelievable 
That's another solo I like. There's a um, from Woodstock, early Santana. Oh fuck! Right, yes. um, and he goes off on a big fucking. You must have a few Gallagher ones too, but oh, do you? Aye, there's a couple of like, like that walk, like, the the walk on hot coals where it's like a big fucking breakdown, and he's he is fully making it up, like he's right. fully just kind of riffing about, Maybe. and it's just a big wandering like just goes and goes and goes, and then out of nowhere, perfect time, and it all comes back, like. But he's just you know, like fucking fucking about going real quiet until he's just like pinching these wee notes, ding, 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 and then it comes then away back up again. Yeah. Fuck. But like. Again, no big notable, you know, you're not picking up a guitar and be like, I'm going to learn this riff of Roy Gallagher. Well, that's the thing. I always say that there's a big difference between the, the best guitar solo and the best guitar riff. And the best guitarist, technically. And the best guitarist, you know? yeah. I mean, there's so many different variations. And like the riffs, as you say, Whole Lot of Love is up there as one of the best riffs. Yeah, like you said, like that, Eddie watches a clip of Jack White now playing Seven Nation Army at Glastonbury. Yeah. Like a, as a riff, one of as the most goal. famous riffs yeah. in the fucking world ever, mm-hmm. and it's like you could pick up a guitar and play that. Yeah, so, you know, roughly, you like absolutely. I mean, what you're talking five notes, six notes, yeah, one and, string and one string, and it's you know, but it's again, it's uh, that's. I know that's there's layers of stuff he does that makes it sound like that, but well, like, I wonder then too. Well, Neil, you maybe answer this, but uh, with Jack White, especially in the White Stripes, it seemed like there was a bass guitar, but there wasn't a no. bass. He was just. He was tuning down an octave low. Is that right? It's a pedal. pedal. It's an oh, octave it's a pedal. pedal. Is it? Oh, okay. But it's but how quickly he has them on and off is what confuses. Yeah, people because he, he like loads of bands cover Seven Nation Army and they fuck it every time because it's maybe not even in the right tuning. Why the right key? Yeah. But then there's a whole load of th- how many times have I talked about the story of him buying that guitar or not buying it like. He, like he had a van and he moved the fridge for St. Vincent de Paul and they're like oh we've no money to pay you do you want to take something lifts this fucking like K hollow body thing takes a pickup off some old mm-hmm. some, like, silver I, tone pickup the and then it's got no controls on it so as <laughs> you plug it in it's like ah! and like the power of all that makes that noise you can't Man, just pick I, you it. couldn't replicate that there's a whole load of things yeah. like loads of things coming going on and yeah. all those combinations of fucking pedals and but the way he can like fucking scoot about the stage is like Burr! and it goes yeah, the I only I never got to see him as Jack White, or I never got to see him as a White Stripes, but I seen him with the Rock and Tours. Yeah, and oh man, he just. But that's what's cool now, because you, you know the, any of those live shows that you, if you just YouTube like a current Jack White show, mm. it's the best of all that shit. Right, all together. So it's it? all the good White Stripes, all the Rock and Tours. Must be due a tour now, soon, isn't it? I was talking to you about it last year when the new album came out. He must be due a tour. Well, he, there was. I mean, the Amsterdam show was the one I missed, and I was like, fuck. I went to Amsterdam for that. No uh, bother. I wonder what I went. How oh, will you go to <laughs> buy fucking milk? You would. I'm just popping out of the shop here. <laughs> like snap or is it snap? <laughs> yeah, I just. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go to Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to give me hot burn. <laughs> Let's watch Brandon Schaub do stand up. Who? Brandon Schaub. Okay, no idea. Okay. Just though, I would trade my governor for your governor, Abbott. I don't know. Right, am I going to have to explain this guy to you? Do you yes. know who that is? No. McCann would shit himself now at this moment in time. He Why? Because he was like, you don't know who that is. You know, he's, he no, gets he, so annoyed here, that I don't know who comedians are. Here's what happened, though, and I'm nearly sure he's wearing the same trousers as I'm wearing right now. Um, <laughs> he, his, so he used to be a UFC fighter, and then he started doing a podcast with Brian Callen, mm-hmm. and then was in a group group of the circle of friends that were all stand-ups basically and then they would do live podcasts and then he would end up opening a wee bit with a few stories and then he fully went into stand-up and he's actually probably been at it for about seven or eight years but mm-hmm. people I, I just like it, it's just one of the things i just i don't i think he's doing it because all his mates are stand-ups and people are going to see this guy because he mm-hmm. was a fighter but he's getting majorly slagged online like he put out a special called gringo poppy or something and it was all about him being married to a fucking mexican girl no oh. it's not great Mm. But if you were a big Brendan Schaub fan, you might go and be like, that was quite entertaining. How do you say in his surname there? Schaub. Schaub, like Schwab? Like Schwab without the without W. Without the W, okay. But uh, a guy sent this into the Patreon and was like, is this the worst thing I've ever seen? But he keeps putting up clips with no response. And of course, no sign. Governor Abbott. I don't agree with his abortion stuff. It's like, how is he going to have an opinion on abortion when his wiener doesn't work? Huh? You can't even have sex, bro. <laughs> Why are you chiming into this thing? You're not getting invited to the orgy, Mr. Abbott. He's like the kid off Game of Thrones that read the future, right? <laughs> Where's your Hordor, bitch? 
My only problem with him is, you know how he got paralyzed, right? A giant oak tree fell on him. Terrible tragedy. You ever seen an oak tree fall fast? <laughs> no! No! God, no! Why me? No! Move out the way, bitch! Also, if you don't like him, easiest politician of all time to assassinate. Easy. <laughs> oh, he's fucking got them all. He's in a wheelchair, Dad says. With the Houston traffic? It's so easy. Mr. Governor, nice to meet you. Traffic. That's made me sad. Yeah. Um, Did I make you sad? Um, well, I don't. Like, I'm not for or against assassinating people in a wheelchair. Uh, but um, maybe, you know, I would keep it off stage. <laughs> I, I just, I don't know. It's this whole thing of the, he said something and he thought it was so funny that he slapped himself in the hand with a mic. Yeah. And I'm like, what? Oh, why? <laughs> what the fuck was that? A guy breaking his legs up the way. <sighs> why? Is there a snap? Oh. It's like McKe this is a footage of McKegney and Lavery's. <laughs> I don't know if I like this with the audio. I don't. Play. I mean, holy fuck! See that? Like, you, I just don't think you recover from that. No. Nah. When you like destroy both your knees backwards. Oh, oh Jesus. god! I went. I, I went into the future there. Mm. What's a fun fact about your family history? Any mad stories? Famous relations? Uh oh, nothing that wouldn't be just sad and boring. Yeah, uh, well, see, I, uh, yeah, I, have a, I have a weird scenario because I've uh, uh, my biological father would uh, would be connected to people who'd be creative, involved in creativity. Okay. So my great grandfather. Sorry, you're gonna grind the ra. No, right no, there. no, definitely not. No, my great grandfather would have been a poet and all that sort of stuff, you know. But um, one of the guys uh, in the family, his name was Artie McGlynn. He was sort of deemed as one of the best guitarists in Ireland. Um, but I didn't hear you bring him up on the solo. No, because <laughs> no, it wasn't really he. Uh, he was well known um, because he was the first one to kind of play Irish traditional tunes on the guitar, as in the melody of them. Mm. Because you, you, it's four frets needed, so it's like serious, serious work. So he released an album in seventy something, and uh, yeah, so he he was Van Morrison's guitarist for a long time, and no way. he um, yeah, so he was probably most well known out of the rest of the family. But all of them are involved in something creativity either poetry music and um, singing dance whatever so any comedians no just myself that's the head of it nobody else um and even then it's weird because i wasn't in the family yeah it's just biological link that's weird and but yet in my house because i have a, a different obviously genetic makeup than my, my three brothers they none of them have any creativity in them <laughs> i think you're like none of them have any talent they don't to speak of. They don't. One of them has the rhythm of a brick. Yeah. Like uh, to the point where I see him at concerts, I see him clapping along, and I'm going, "What beat are you hearing?" He's got like one air so AirPod <laughs> on the other side. <laughs> it's so fucking bad. But uh, yeah, so it was weird because, uh, like as I say, I never had any interaction with that family. So uh, I, that's why, as I got older, I'm thinking there's definitely something genetic in creativity. Has to be. Could well why, be. why am I trying to learn guitar and saxophone? <laughs> I learned to get sax when I was younger, uh, and and I would love to see you just rip it up <laughs> on the sax. We tiny one of the wee ones. No, no, it was a big one too. It was a tenor sax, uh, and I was like, oh, I had to carry that fucking coffin into <laughs> school. Just uh, fucking, I wish it could have been there. just tearing it up. <laughs> um, so I'm sitting there trying to learn this, and the other three have no interest and no like they're good at sports or whatever, like, but no interest in in, in creativity at all. That's so it's weird. weird. Yeah, it's very very strange. So. That was, uh, yeah, so he was, that guitarist would have been um, our claim to fame in that sense and on that side. But I, I can't think of anyone in my family that has any th does anything mm. creative. Right at all? Nothing? Nothing. Like my, my dad, if it, well, like my dad played the guitar for a good while mm -hmm. and was, you know, buying himself a wee Spanish fucking nylon string guitar and being but that all would have been that would have been fucking nice to be around when you're growing up like to have like if i thought i'd have to get a guitar uh, i'm sorry fucking... yeah but he was very he, he was never like here do you want to fucking have we go at this or anything he was always just like 
I believe in Listen to and Nick Drake <laughs> crying in the room. <laughs> but even then, to see, you know, to have that uh, influence on you, like even to see it happening, you know, there was none of that in our house. Like, yeah. Not a chance. No, there TV was... come on, that was it. The fucking. Yeah, but there was not a lot of fucking. It was almost like he had a, a quiet music interest. You know, oh, I didn't want like, to tell people. <laughs> just be like a wee, you know, a wee collection of fucking CDs and all. <laughs> Tortured genius and all in the corner. <laughs> it wouldn't be like me around Eddie. I'm like, fucking turn that shit off. Come here. <laughs> this is Led Zeppelin and a very obscure <laughs> version of it. Where there's a solo in it. Where it's not even in the, here. Come back. Take them headphones out. Come here. <laughs> Sit in that chair and eat your fucking. Listen, this twelve minutes. Eat your solo. protein shake. <laughs> dinner. <laughs> Stare him in the face. <clears throat> Do you feel it though? Do you feel? It? It doesn't taste like crickets. <laughs> it looks like it. <laughs> you eat a fucking. You eat a boudre when you don't eat that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, is the New World Order pre- present in Oma? New World Order is present everywhere. That's why it's oh, in the New World Order. Jesus. That's, uh, my, my vision was always when you were talking about cryptos and crashes and buy this stock up and buy all this shit and get it on a ledger. Mm. You just trying to buy, you know, a cinnamon swirl and Bob and Bart's <laughs> and trying to offer the woman like fucking whatever new crypto was out. Uh, yeah, no, don't worry about that. That's 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 post. That's post, isn't yeah, it? That's when you're coming to me for a loan. Punts are coming back. <laughs> Punts will be back. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, well, I mean, the new world order was, I mean, you're talking as early as the 90s, early 90s, when they officially stated that this is what they're aiming for. And so to be honest, we, uh, like, we've been under like, I'm not going to call it the New World Order, but that version, which is a globalist type of government, we've been under that now for about 20 years or so. You know when you see corporations and <laughs> the clues in the title, when they call themselves multinational corporations, mm-hmm. they're multinations, they don't belong to a nation. <laughs> that's that's globalism. But again, we just like, um, but we need the jobs. Please, come what? to us, Tesco, come to us, Sainsbury. I was uh, listening to someone talk about, it was on a podcast, they were talking about another podcast where someone asked, it was like Lex Friedman asked this money expert, like, what is money, <laughs> right? And I haven't heard it, but I, I'm saving it. I'm saving <laughs> yeah. it to sit down and just be like, what is it? Yeah. It's fabricated out of fucking thin air, basically, at the moment. It has been for about 50 years. Uh, so that's why I keep saying to you about the crash thing. But uh, the sad thing about it is if you have people who are a wee bit corrupt, Mm. Just a wee bit corrupt in government. Um, they keep printing money. Well, so the more it. they keep printing, I mean, here's a good example. Everybody's getting six hundred pound. Um, into exactly. Their bank account. I got it this morning, and I'm going. Does anybody want <laughs> to take a step back and go? Yes, it's fucking great to see six hundred pound in January. Who wouldn't like it? Mm-hmm. But can we take a step back and go? Where's the money coming from? <laughs> yeah. Where do we? Uh, where do we fund this fucking six hundred pound per household? Yeah. It's mental. As well as the hundred pound that they already gave us as a debit card. Yeah, and it's just like you know, you feel oh they're giving it to you because it's like oh maybe you can't keep up with the price of things. No, and you're like who well, sets the price? You? Yeah, not only that. So what's happened is you've got the energy companies. That's what it well, wasn't the government put that into my bank account today. It was Power NI. Mm-hmm. So the companies are sending money back to you out of the fucking profits. It's. And it's not coming from their profits, the government's giving it to them. So that's always the question, going, where's the fucking money coming from? There, there has to be a crash. What goes up must come down, because £600 per household is absolutely nuts. It's quite a bit. That's a lot of money. A lot of money. And again, where does it... Did I tell you Did I tell you the horror story of Maureen filling up the the um, oil tank, the oh. home heating thing? Jeez. She told them to come around and top it up, but it was empty. Oh, gee. And they filled it right to the brim, and the boy was like, that's a bit expensive there. It was like literally like fucking eleven hundred pounds. I was going to say if you're of a thousand, or usually uh, eleven or twelve hundred liter tank, and yeah. it's like over a pound liter. Demand. Yeah. Holy! F- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we top up was it? It's like I thought it was half full. We well, about? here's the thing. So that's why I said about you know uh, the sign of things to come and things are going to get more difficult. Is that like we do okay? You do obviously very well. Um, but you know we have a we have a we have a jobs. I have a couple of jobs and all the rest. So I've got money coming in, and we're not struggling, but we're not wealthy. Mm-hmm. What about, I just can't understand how the people who are maybe just on benefits or don't, how are they fucking surviving? How are they heating their house? How are they, it's, like, I mean, they, but they do need the 600 pound. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, maybe there should have been a wee bit of means testing going on. Yes, exactly. Because, mm. uh, I mean, uh, uh, what one was it? They were dishing out like COVID, the COVID grant COVID things. COVID grant, yeah. And like, this was shortly after, um, like, I'd, I'd managed to get all my shows out of the way before the start of lockdown. Mm-hmm. That's right. Your so, time like, was great, actually. thankfully, we were, like, fine. Because yeah. 
I wasn't doing anything. But it could have been a lot worse if the show had been scheduled six yes, weeks later. Yes. You could have been fucking but screwed. But what happened yeah. was, you know, got paid from those and then also was just at home not doing anything. So mm-hmm. that I wasn't really spending a lot yeah. either. Yeah. And uh, But I remember at the time going like, did I take this? And, yeah, the, and my, even my accountant was like, I'll take all from everywhere. And I was like, but no. do I? I gave mine, do I like, I mine to my daughter, but I mean, so it still stays within the, the household. Yeah. But if you go to the more sinister as we always do in this fucking when you bring me on the whole idea is that it's it's kind of like a, a conditioning they're getting you used to being reliant on help from the government mm. which is not a good place to be mm. because that same government can stop helping you when they want to if you don't do what they do want you to do yeah so once um, once you rely on them handing shit out and then they start then they start dictating as to how or who mean, gets it their, yeah. mean, their means testing is like yeah what sort of person let's see you? your social profile on uh, yeah. facebook and what you're talking about is there any anti-government stuff on there that's so that's what i'm saying that, that's the scary thing about it is this is kind of like a an, almost like a baby step towards uh don't worry we'll help you out you know and you're like hmm mm. mm, don't trust you cons never have so but yeah 600 i think it must it must be is there a million households in the north I know there's one point, is it one point six million people? So I'd say, say half of that, then say no, one point eight million, multiply by six hundred pound, like that's a lot of fucking cash. To to me, I would always go, what about Danny Chess? Could we fire? Yeah, exactly. All that into the, you know, we we talked about in our podcast. Going, what if everybody gave their hundred pound? Because that was you know one point six million, whatever people got a hundred pound. Yeah. Can we not just put that all in Danny Chess collectively? And everybody was like. No, <laughs> that, that, that'd be a good idea. Actually. Yeah, would have been nice, but again, it, it just doesn't make any sense. I don't understand it at all. But that's you know, it's only unless you do look at it at the more sinister, and yeah. then it makes sense. You're going, oh, well, okay, that doesn't make sense. Fuck. So yeah, you'd be laughing at my crypto, whatever. Let's let's lighten the mood. Is it dealing stri- with your bank loans? <laughs> is it straight Cali these days? It's not. You know, Cali is Cali's interesting. <laughs> Even the facts called Cali. Uh, it used to be because. As you know, I've been, uh, I would have frequented the dark net for quite a long time. Um, so about 10 years ago, 10, uh, 10 or 11 years ago. So it was always uh, what's what's now known today as Cali grade was medicinal grade before mm. that. So it used to be that there was a certain tiers, if you want to call it that, of different quantity and quality. The Cali stuff, I mean, I don't know. I mean, most, most weed would be in around the 22 to 29% THC. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of the Cali stuff's going up to 35, 40 And you're like, oh, that's going to be That's dangerous for anybody who's first time smoking but mm. yeah. Well, it's the price is the problem the Cali priced way out of it They've priced it like fucking, I don't know I think somebody told me recently they paid like nearly £400 for an ounce I'm like, what the fuck, like double the cost of And that's not I remember going, to, uh, the last thing going to Amsterdam and that, that shit, I'd have like one One puff of it and be dead Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For anybody that's not used yet, there's no point in Cali. It would be like, can you source me some shite schoolboy weed? Um, probably or, not. You know, no. That's the fucking hard thing about it. you. Don't get any like shit anymore. It's like it is proper good stuff all the time. It's a shame. Um, but you know what? Have you ever had hash? That's what I mean. That's what I mean. We about a hash. I want to smoke hash out of a coke can. There we are. And, right. eat, and eat we cocoa can, pops and laugh my head off. That's what I want to do. You <laughs> can figure that out. Because uh, that was the that was all it was ever Not about. CTE in my kitchen. <laughs> from whatever shit I get off you. Uh, but it is. It's a weird. So I, I, I love the marketing that's been done with the Kelly. Mm-hmm. Um, but on, on the darknet for a while, Canada and Spain were kind of the two um, most productive and best quality of, of smoke has been about. Like. Oh, but again, you don't really hear much about those countries. Canada, uh, Spain is now brought in the cannabis clubs, so they're everywhere. So mm-hmm. Barcelona, Madrid, Lanzarote, they all have the, they all, so it's technically legal. Um, but it's just taken a while to come here before. Me and you, I will open up a coffee shop. Oh, yeah. We will have a coffee shop. Yeah. One, one again, one no. <laughs> 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 on High Street, of course. Oh, come on. Hi, he's trying to play this and probably go to jail. Let's see. Oh, no. In my hometown. What the actual fuck is that? It's just someone getting branded. No. 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 Look at the fucking... St- what would you... They've, they, they, do you know what they did there, I think? I think they left it on too long. It might have been I. 
Uh, someone's been watching too much Ye- oh, Yellowstone. Yeah. Like is they, that where it's coming from? Yellowstone? Have you seen Yellowstone? I tried to watch the first couple of episodes. And I heard it was, uh, it was very slow, and I thought, mm, "We'll come back." To slow? This. The first couple, the first episode or so? Bro, I fucking have never seen more people fucking shot and killed. No, uh, in the first maybe. Uh, I really liked it. I was balls deep in it immediately. No, I must give it a second look. Because you're trying. Do you know what it is? It's one of those shows where it starts. It starts just right in it. There's right. no like, mm. you know, here's a bit of background, whatever. Yeah, I didn't like know you, that degree, yeah. You start in the mix of the of the drama, like. Mm. I need to go back to it again. I wasn't a big Western fan when I was younger either. Jesus. Me neither, mm. but I don't know. There's just something about, you know, it's a bit like. Even though I'm fucking flat out and read Dead Redemption, <laughs> whenever you get a chance. But it's, it's I mean, if it's the hardest show to explain to someone. You go like, right. oh, there's these ranchers in fucking Montana, but then all the fucking politics and fighting over land. Oh, no, yeah. It's basically like a sort of mafia turf war. Yeah, but just set back there. Oh, Type must thing. be a look at him because I hear as it goes on to like season three or four, it gets like unmissable level. So I was like, okay, I need, oh, to, I don't know. I need to struggle through I'm this. I'm still in the first series, about six episodes in, and I'm just like, this is fucking great. All right, okay, I have to give it another shot then. Because then, and then you start, you know, like you know, you just start to get the accent when you're walking around the house now. <laughs> yeah. Am I gonna see a cup of coffee anytime soon? <laughs> it's like I watched Narcos and I was convinced. Wench. After I finished the third season, I was fluent in Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. How many, how many joints were you in after the third series? <laughs> 700 finished, joints. I was actually in America when I finished the third <laughs> season. Espana? And, uh, and I remember uh, being in a, in a Chili's, you know, like a restaurant, and uh, I could hear a Spanish couple, and I said to me, I was like, I, I understand every fucking word they're saying. <laughs> but in my head, I was like, I fucking, you know when you're immersed in one show? Yeah. Like, and you've been watching, you know, you've watched nothing else but 30 episodes of this, you're just, that's all you hear, and I was like, I can, I can figure that out. That's another one that I just sort of missed the boat on and never got back to, to checking it out. It was it just one again, same thing as a sort of I, I, I motored on through, and then I was like, oh, okay, this was worth it. But yeah. again, starting, I think, isn't that thing a starting anything new? You're like, oh fuck, do I have to commit to this? Especially when there's five seasons already done. You're like, oh, I don't know. Know. but so, I like that though. Sometimes if, it's if it's wor- good enough to binge, yeah. Sometimes absolutely. it's worse than get you know, get into something, and it's like you know you're waiting every week for a fucking thing. Mm. Um, Greta Thunberg fake arrested. <laughs> yeah, Do you think it's I don't of- think she was. Uh, so I've I've looked into that. So she wasn't fake arrested. Um, the German police, being as the German police are, very worried about people's safety. I know that sounds like a joke, but it's not. Safely, <laughs> they uh, they moved her from there to the fifty mark, the fifty meter markation where it's supposed to be safe. Oh, right. and that's all they did. They didn't arrest her. They didn't take her. But again, what it's did she like? I'd say she must be nineteen or twenty. Is she? Is that a good way to grow up in a public eye, being like the face of fucking? Well, here's the thing. This, this is why uh, I, do, I remember reading the conspiracy theory that she's a clone, and I like fucking. Jeff, I have Stephen Merchant, like <laughs> like your doll in Jurassic World, and uh, and then I was like, well, do you know what? It would make fucking more sense if she was a clone because no parent would do that to their child. Yeah, no parent would push them out. To take on the entire fucking globe at sixteen, yeah, <laughs> it's not like my my girl's nearly nineteen. There's not even now. I wouldn't send her out to go and challenge fucking politically thing, uh, minded things. So yeah. I, I would uh, it would make me feel better if she was cloned. Yeah. Um, but yeah, who are the parents and who keeps fucking? Because because all I mean the general vibe is who is this silly wee bitch shut the yeah, fuck up I, like that's everybody like shut up who yeah. the fuck think you, you know but she's 18 or 19 now so she's an adult so she can go where the fuck she wants she can be in Germany she can go it's yeah. just whether or not uh, the handlers are still there mm. there's a there's a female handler she has that is at pretty much every event she goes to yeah you'll see oh, you need one you need a fucking team of security probably. you'll see it and see her in the background yeah who's allegedly <laughs> Oh, stop oh, it. No, you sure, sure who isn't. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right, we'll rip through. Uh, thoughts on the Thai he, he, what? Sat up on Roisin Dove and Galway. Uh, small venue, but I think the best stuff comes out of those small weekly slots. Saw Yums there last summer and had a belt there. Did you do that wee upstairs room? Oh, Roisin? yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's good. I've only ever done the big ones. <laughs> Close up. Up on that, cut in. <laughs> Will agony are on the drink or green ever happen again? <laughs> uh, we're talking about it. We're coming up to our hundred and fiftieth episode now soon, so we're thinking of maybe a, a live one with because uh, we've done both. So we did one uh, very drunk, and then we did one with edibles, 
And um, yeah, both were very messy. Edibles, bro. Fuck me, man. We have so many questions here. Let's let's pick a deep one, and uh, we'll wrap. I'll do I'll pick the lighthearted ones. Fuck, I told you never going no deep ones. See what happens. You get me down now, fucking rabbit hole. You never get me out. <laughs> Ask him what he thinks about the possibility of the Irish being the original Egyptians. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 right. Okay. Uh, where the fuck did that come? I don't know. Did, I thought you might have said something about it before. Uh, but that's Irish the only, people. The only, ma- the only thing that uh, is making me uh, think uh, any recognition that is that the term gypsy huh. came from Egyptian. Uh, Egyptian, yeah. That uh, many centuries ago, um, anybody of Romany d- descent uh-huh. would come along and. Local people being as ignorant as they are, thought, "Oh, they must be from Egypt." Oh, so it's like the Egyptians, American Indian. Yeah, type so vibes. they were they were known as gypsies then, but that's where it initially came from. But they happened to be from Romania direction. Yeah, there you are. There you are. Yeah. <laughs> Although the Irish are big into construction, <coughs> they are. <laughs> Not tarmacking. Have you seen the <laughs> Claridge's the the mega build? No. Did I tell you about that now? No. It's on BBC. It's fucking astonishing. Right. So Claridge's obviously uh-huh. in London, like so, like oh. the top. Top end, the top end hotels, like yeah, and but it's run by an Irish guy, and then they decided to do this full once again. This is when I describe it to you, you'll be like, "This is, sounds like shit," but it, it's fucking fascinating, and it's actually like tense to watch. Right? They decided to tunnel under, mine out basically underneath the hotel while it was still functioning, and build all this spa and everything, and then do a big bit of work on the top deck Jeez. whilst it was still fun, whilst it was still open to the public, and they got. And everybody's Irish right. for whatever reason. So they're like these minor or these uh, miners are from Donegal, and they specialize in like these fucking shoots. Down I there. must take a lot of this because I, I, that's who I live with a lot of tunnelers from Donegal. I, <laughs> well, that's, yeah, that's, that's yeah. who I lived with. Well, these boys are like, and they were like the pros. They they were the ones yeah. who were involved in the Channel Tunnel. Yeah, same thing. So like, they they want whatever. They, they basically thought it was impossible, and then this is like a movie. They pull some guy out of retirement who if you looked at him like he wouldn't be out of place at the end of a bar in Donegal with a big handlebar moustache you know playing a fucking banjo or whatever and then this guy's a fucking like engineering genius that and sounds he, like the voice and he dug he, he, he figured out this way of like tunneling down and by the way they had to like bring all the fucking muck out That's, I and, always and, and sneak it out of the building without anyone seeing it and in the loading bay like the lorry would come in they'd fill it up they'd lift a fucking drape the thing would drive out and disappear oh and I gotta fuck. watch that see I, w- I wouldn't find that boring I would find that fucking fascinating then, I love that stuff but then so like the the f- front like the facade bit of it was built in like Newton Ards and they have to go do a site visit and there's just like in a field somewhere there's like the front of the hotel that they have to like ship over <laughs> But everybody's Irish, like literally. Mad. Like they'd be like, oh, this is, uh, you know, Sarah Wu, the fucking Japanese uh, or Chinese, whatever, fucking <laughs> designer. And this boy from, you know, like Korea going, hey, it looks well now that you're fucking <laughs> plastered over and all. Hey, and what would that be made of? And you could tell, like, these boys are making, they're, they're making this deck that, like, on top of the thing is a hundred grand a night. And they'd be like, hey, well, Paddy decided there last minute that, you know, he wanted a piano fucking pavilion down the bottom there so we'll figure a fucking, geez, fucking lunatic. figure that out how to make that way the piano rotten inside it and all and uh, you could just tell like yeah you know because we, we, are, we, we are a fucking we are uh, north and south we're full of fucking good builders like yeah. good worksmen good tradesmen yeah. like absolutely but that's what the, the miners were saying like he goes hey, them boys be down there digging you know 12 hours a day and if we have to put a halt to the work because of the noise like mm-hmm. the, the, sometimes the noise would get so much someone would complain and they'd have to just come down and go stop stop that's it and it was Fuck. so COVID was a good thing for them so that they could keep working ah, I suppose yeah yeah but the, I suppose was like ah oh, no these boys wouldn't be they wouldn't be happy if they weren't sweating digging up muck <laughs> you make them stop for two hours and all they fucking lose interest them boys want to be sweating <laughs> they want to be in, want to be 45 degrees uh, sweating through the shirt <laughs> no light and no air that's what they like they know nothing. That, that's what he said. He goes, they don't know anything else. No, <laughs> they don't know anything else, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. You give them free time, they don't know what to be at themselves. Uh, you're right, they don't. Uh, all they do is fucking drink. <laughs> they, need, they need to be just shoveling muck into a bucket and as, carrying it out. As the barman who was dealing with those hers who were fucking doing the channel tunnel, it was fucking... Uh, uh, like, they were they were on, like, £300 a day 25 years ago. Mm-hmm. So, to, to me, they were fucking, like, millionaires, yeah. you know what I mean? They, were, they would send home £300. 
to the to the wife and family in, in Donegal, and they were over the moon. You're getting three hundred pound a week, yeah. and they're sitting with fucking twelve hundred pound. Yeah. That they just the amount of times I just get a card handed me going nineties money, nineties <laughs> money. But they were like, this is what? Oh, two thousand, two thousand one. They just walk up, hand you a card, and go four hundred. <laughs> I mean, it just give me four hundred pound cash. I mean, unbelievable. They just didn't give a fuck. A serious amount of mad bastards, and the amount of drink them cons took. But they never missed the Saturday morning shift. Yeah, because the Saturday morning was time and a half. Double, uh, so you worked from nine to one, but you get paid for the full day. And they and like I said to them, I was like, one of them was crawling machi- in. Like one of them's a machine uh, driver, and I was like, how the fuck are you able to operate machinery? You couldn't bite your finger but four hours ago. Yeah. <laughs> you only left here at half three this yeah. morning. <laughs> Fucking unbelievable. And then they come in to me at half one, like and they absolutely just get me a pint. Yeah, <laughs> and that's it. Then they're done then until Monday morning again. So funny. Like, and it, there's something about just all these sort of middle aged Irish guys where they're like. You know, like it, do, they're doing all the work, but it doesn't yeah. make sense. So it'd be like, you know, if you were that way inclined, you could come in here and get some <laughs> sort of oat milk foot rub, and then up into the jacuzzi. If you're, you know, if that's the type of thing, you know, tickles your pickle, you could get in there and fucking relax for two hours. If you, who's the fucking time for that shit? No, because <laughs> they out, don't understand that people do other I, things yeah, other than drink. I, yeah. <laughs> and you go down there and you be, you could get yourself one of them uh, cocktails. <laughs> Fucking 20, 25 pound a pop, you can fucking catch yourself on. But anyway, if you, if you were that sort of cunt, you'd be, <laughs> he just doesn't know how, yeah, you know. No respect for the talk. If you want to get one of them steaks, <laughs> with the blood pissing out the middle of it, <laughs> you can do so up there as well. But, you know, I, you know, if you want to there's do. a boy up the street will wrap it in gold tinfoil for you if you want to. But that, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying nothing, but if you want half a price look, with a lot of chips, <laughs> 450 up the road. The shawarma lads. <laughs> <For swar. laughs> shawarma lads. <laughs> it's not bad, I. <laughs> it's been hotter. <laughs> and if you want a fucking sufflet, uh, <laughs> them boys do it. It's like, I don't know what it's somewhere, but, but if you want ice cream, there's McDonald's down the street there. Say nothing. <laughs> sufflet. It is, it is Mayfair prices, but... Uh, Still McDonald's, you know. Only Mayfair I takes fags by the side of her. That's just <laughs> the only time you see me in Mayfair in a box of fags. <laughs> but it's fucking quality. Check it out. Uh, is that it? Yeah, we'll get the fuck out of here because we're going to be here all day. Jesus Christ. I will be here all day. Fuck, it's all. Do they, do, do, are you able to. Is that the way you treat your bit? You just skip over your questions? I just, listen, I appreciate it. I love I mean, that. I, lo- I <sighs> wish the fuck we had that editor than Kevin Bowles. Listen, it's, it's, it's like how. What does it say? Run, run us down the scent, the yums. Our senses smell nice or musty, no in between. What? What? What are, what are oh, you? Yeah. What are you smell? This, I'm pretty sure this girl has asked this, these questions about smells before. Okay, she's just one of these fetishist mm, ones. She's a fetish, isn't it? Uh, so, wants, what wants to know what is? What do you smell like? You smell good usually. I smell like bad boy. You smell like you smell like bad boy and gange. Yes. So, Bad yes. boy. I don't know if <laughs> Miss me like bad boy and <laughs> I don't know if Carolina Herrera has ever thought of adding gangs to the mix for bad boy, but if you put the two in together now, it's a fair it's a fair out aroma now. <laughs> bad boy and Gange, that's our new podcast. <laughs> yeah. Right, we're getting out of here. It's fucking freezing in Thank here. you very Four much. Four o'clock, Jesus Christ. Today. Thank you, General Banter. Thank Cheers for coming on again. Hopefully Thank people you. enjoy the double dose. Hopefully this time you didn't fucking fall asleep. Uh, no one fell asleep. Everyone loved it last time. <laughs> Cheers now. Yep. See you next week. Up the rock. <laughs>